Hello everyone, welcome back to Web Dev Mentors YouTube channel and we are looking at the video series of Learning Bootstrap. So today this video is about getting started on Bootstrap, how to include Bootstrap in your HTML or what do you say as website or web page of course. Bootstrap is completely uh, CSS files and JS files. So you're going to learn how to include the cascading style sheet files that is the CSS files and also the JavaScript files the JS files so I'm going to use my IDE which is the sublime text in order to do this project so you can use any kind of IDE and uh, if you remember in the last video I've just uh, extracted those bootstrap files the three folders the CSS folder the fonts folder and the JS folder on the bootstrap folder of web dev mentors and here it is so this is the bootstrap folder and css fonts and js so uh, we have already seen what are the contents of these each folder so uh, if you want to know what it is you can go back to the first video that is the getting introduction on bootstrap so that uh, you can see it well of course uh, while doing this project we will be looking forward to it so you don't have to worry about it so I'm going to use this folder for my project so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to open my sublime text and just drag it and drop it and that's it so it's going to get my folders in here so as we have already seen CSS has these bootstrap theme and bootstrap CSS and JS folder has the minified version of the normal version of the bootstrap.js so I'm going to use the minified version of uh, both the files the JS files and the CSS files so before going into inclusion of these files into the HTML file I just show you what is the difference between the CSS file and the minified file of the CSS so this is the main CSS file that you can see and uh, let's get it straight to the last line of the CSS that is it's something around 5785 okay now in this bootstrap minified file we're seeing just seven lines so what happened is that they've removed the spaces and tabs completely all you can see is the code in a single line there's no space there's no stab there is no enter there's no return or anything there's no white spaces between anything so all you see is pure code that is the minified version and we can also see that for the JavaScript of bootstrap so this is the JavaScript file the main file that is not minified actually which has something around 1951 lines and bootstrap.min that is the minified version of the JavaScript has six lines that is actually one line of JavaScript so this is the difference between the normal file and the minified version so there is no space or tabs that will be there in a minified version so they will be less in size so it can load faster so your website will be faster so uh, let's get started I'm going to create a new file let's save it before starting it I'm going to save it as index.html and here it is just get added in here so why index index is the first file that your server will be looking in any folder and displaying them so this is the first file that your server would be checking for if there is an index it will be just displaying it and uh, we're gonna use this index file straight away so I'm gonna as I said in the last video it is going to be very basic I'm not going to go through it very fast so I'm gonna enter the basic HTML and also the part where you include the bootstrap CSS file and also the JavaScript file so as we start with it we're just kinda starting with the HTML tag people who knows about HTML and people who have already done HTML coding something like you created a website or at least tried it you'll be knowing most of the tags so it's not going to be a problem so this is the HTML tag that is stating that this is an HTML file and 
it starts the HTML so before that I want to include this doc type HTML so it defines that the document type is HTML for the HTML5 so next tag is head so this is where we're going to have our files so I'm just going to have this zoomed in with our so just increase the size of the text now and these are the two lines the meta lines the first line which is the fourth line of this document is defining the character encoding of this HTML document and the fifth line is defining the viewport and the width of the device is going to be set as the width of this HTML document and the scaling of this document is going to be 1.0 and the next thing is going to be the title I'm just going to give you a, a random title for this okay getting started with bootstrap let's change it this that is the title of the last video we had I don't want to have a conflict in this so this is the part where we're going to add the CSS the minified CSS of our bootstrap so the tag is link so I'm going to link the CSS file href referring to CSS the folder in which the bootstrap dot min dot CSS is so the we are also specifying it's a style sheet and we can also add uh, our own customized CSS file something like you have your own CSS file something like style.css or main.css or various other names that you can give you can add it in the same way as you've seen this link href is equal to CSS bar your own CSS and refer it as a style sheet and now before adding the JavaScript file I have to say something so we've ended the head tag just turn it back I'm just going to add the body tag and I'm going to add the JavaScript at the bottom of my page this is to make sure that your page loads faster because JavaScript might be too big and it might take long time so if you have some kind of JavaScript file that is having too much of content it's best to add it at the end of the page so that your contents of the page loads and the JavaScript loads and it get added to it and most of the time it's better to load the JavaScript or scripts at the bottom of the page so that it can get applied on your page properly because sometimes you might give some reference or some properties to some components or elements of your HTML document which is not loaded then it's not going to be applied on it so it's best to add it at the end but before going into adding JavaScript file of bootstrap I need you to add the jQuery file so we have to add the jQuery before adding the JavaScript file of bootstrap so so I'm going to show you where to get it so we go into jQuery.com to get the jQuery so we're looking at 1.11.1 version and also 2.1.1 and this is where you're going to download the jQuery I'm going to download the compressed that is the minified version of jQuery 1.11.1 so this means that but when you come to 2.x it does not support Internet Explorer 6, 7 or 8 so right now I'm going to download the compressed production jQuery 1.11.1 so I've opened it I'm just going to copy it open another file in JS folder and save it as jQuery.js you can also say it as jQuery.min.js or jQuery.1.11.1.min.js but 
again it's not completely necessary you're just going to use it as jQuery.js and I'm going to save it just saved it it's automatically going to get converted into a proper JS files look so make sure you have completed completely which means that you have to check the last part of the line the third line I'm having three lines so I'm having a semicolon and in here also there will be a semicolon with a bracket yep it's there so just c confirm it because there might be chances that you miss it out in a hurry so it's better to confirm it and uh, we just saved it so before adding the JS I'm just gonna add the jQuery so we need this jQuery because the JavaScript of Bootstrap uses jQuery so sorry uh, I was actually adding the CDN uh, sorry for that because that was my practice I used to add CDNs yeah okay let me show you there is a CDN as well so just go back and uh, you can see that just download it you can go for the CDN this is it so if you want this you can just use it CDN but I'm not going to use it as we are doing it in the local project you can use it the main advantage of using the CDN is that if someone else has used this particular script in their website and uh, your visitor or your uh, current uh, subscriber have already used a website that has this line they might have already had the jQuery file and they catch so what happens is that it looks so fast because of the reason that this jQuery file will be in the catch of that browser so you don't have to wait till it loads so your website will be loading very faster but the, some disadvantage might have is that this CDN might not work if the CDN server is not working properly well it's highly impossible because these people make sure that this CDN network is working perfectly of course uh, it's up to you to make the decision uh, it gives you a slight edge on the speed of the uh, website but again it's up to you to, to make those decisions so we're gonna add it jQuery dot JS and just gonna close the script so once I've added it I'm gonna add the JavaScript files of bootstrap again I'm going to add the bootstrap.min dot js the minified version of the js this also gives you an extra edge because it's going to load faster so this is where we've already done the part of adding the CSS file of the bootstrap and also the js file so before adding the bootstrap JS file we have to add the jQuery file because bootstrap uses jQuery in their JavaScript to run various functions so if you want you can check it so look at this so jQuery they're using it and uh, it can clearly see that bootstrap JavaScript requires jQuery already the first line is throwing you an error if there is no jQuery you'd be asked to upload it on your website so you don't want your visitors to see this that uh, it is needing the jQuery of course it will be throwing it mostly in the console area so you don't have the problem so you can easily use it and this is it this is the f uh, f main part of this video how to add the bootstrap CSS and also the bootstrap JavaScript so as you can see at added to meta that is the character encoding of this document file and then specifying the width that this HTML document is going to have in the browser whichever browser it, it is going to use it is maybe the desktop browser or the mobile browser or the tablet browser or whatever browser it is going to use it's going to use this width the width of the screen and the scaling of that HTML document that is the website is going to be 1.0 it's not going to be reduced in size or something it's just going to be full 
that's it that's what it says it's going to be four and uh, we have create given a title for it and uh, then we have added the bootstrap.min.js is the minified version of the bootstrap cascading style sheet file and then we get into the body part of the HTML document and we've added two JavaScripts one is the jQuery and then the bootstrap JavaScript so jQuery is added because bootstrap is created with jQuery so you need jQuery in order to do some functions of the bootstrap JavaScript so you have to add jQuery into your file sorry about that uh, message and then uh, the next part is we just have to check it so I'm going to check it bootstrap index.html okay I think I have made a mistake in here it has to be bootstrap not bootstrap uh, min.css so we're going to open this file index.html and we're going to check the console if there's any error so we have completely added those files so if there is any kind of mistakes you have done in adding the CSS or JavaScript file it will be throwing some error in this console part of your Chrome so if you're using some other websites like Firefox or Opera there will be a console there you can check it there so if a file that is added on the website is not added properly or is there any mistake like you have mentioned a wrong path to that file then you will be having an error here so that you can identify that there that file is the mistake the path might be the mistake it cannot be found so you have you can have to correct it so this is the end of the file thank you for watching this uh, video just try it out do it because this is going to be very simple uh, you might think that is very simple but the part is we have to make sure that you understand it and keep it in your mind you can do it easily but again you have to keep it in your mind for a long period of time that's the main objective of web dev mentors we have to make sure that you learn it and keep it in your mind so that you can do it anytime without any kind of references we don't want you to have our videos in your hand or some kind of book in your hand try it out in different ways so if you have some problems that you don't want to add the JavaScript at the end of the file you can add it at the top of the file because these JavaScripts will be just affecting the speed of your uh, HTML so these two JavaScript lines you can add it here as well directly below the CSS edition line and that's not going to be a problem at all only the script that you're going to add later with some functions might have problems if you are uh, stating some elements of HTML in that function which is not loaded yet it will be throwing some error like undefined value something like that so these two lines can be added at the top al also so you won't be having that kind of a problem unless you're concerned about the speed of the website okay thank you for watching this video I we hope that uh, you've learned something today and just do it practice it keep watching this series the next video might be a little bit tricky of course we're going to just add a little bit of components to the website so that it has something to look at and uh, there's a lot of things in bootstrap that you have to learn uh, I'd be going through it each and everything in a very simple and understandable way so you don't have to worry about it but from the next video we'll be getting on to the design part of the website so stay tuned for the next video of uh, learning bootstrap series thank you for watching this video subscribe to the channel and also if you find anything wrong or if you have any comments or if you have any issues please use the comment section of this video and uh, if there's any link or video that we have referenced in this video we'll be posting the link of that at the end of this video and also at the video description so check that check it out and you can also follow us on the Facebook page and also follow our Twitter handle thank you for watching this video thank you